Adventures of Lola and Choo Choo is brought to you by Peak Chocolate. Is everybody afraid? What are those ugly monsters? I don't know, but it looks scary. Chuchu, what do we do? Oh no! The shell bags have captured Kali! Who said that? I am Xena. And you are now in Mamuland. Long ago, the people of Mamu village lived in peace and harmony. The rivers flowed endlessly with goodness. The Mamu fountain never ran dry. And the Mamu spirits lived Happily on Mamu Mountain, coming down once a year to bless our land. All this changed when the shell bags arrived. Mm. One by one, they captured the Mamu spirits, mm. spreading decay and rot across the land. And now, they have the of the Mamu spirits. Oh no! But how do we stop them? I believe you have been summoned here for a reason. We the Mamu villagers need you to stop the shellbacks and restore balance to our land. But how do we do that? Bracelets will give you extraordinary abilities. With these 
abilities, you will be able to defeat the shellbacks and their minions. <laughs> be patient, and your powers will reveal themselves. When your bracelets glow blue, it means your powers have been activated. Once your bracelets are recharged, they will disappear. Along the way, you will find magical chests. These chests contain orange orbs that will recharge your bracelets. Use your powers wow. wisely. Thank you, Zena. This is a map of Mammal Land. Thank you, Zena. We promise to rescue all the Mambo spirits and bring them back to Mambo Mountain. You should be on your way now, children. Kali will soon be in the hands of the evil Chuba. Time is of the essence. Go. Let's go! Next on the adventures of Lola and Choo Choo, a mammal spirit has been found. How do Lola and Choo Choo rescue the mammal spirit heavily guarded by the minions? Don't miss it! Thanks for watching! Now it's your turn to join the adventure. Can you help us solve the puzzle? Ifako International Schools, about us. The school was founded on September 9, 1974 as an institution for nursery and primary education, a preparatory for secondary school education through which effective moral upbringing required to make one fit into this modern age in sophisticated living is inculcated. Approval to open the school was given by the Lagos State Ministry of Education in September 1974.
Our history shows a catalog of achievements which truly justifies the aims and aspirations of the founders. Our first sets of pupils were admitted into Form 1 in 1979 and many of them graduated from various universities in 1988. Nine years after leaving our preparatory classes, as from 1979, our children have been gaining admission annually into independent high schools, federal government colleges, state and first secondary schools. A follow-up of their performance reveals brilliant records of successful learning and achievement. In 1978, after a full-scale inspection that lasted three weeks by the Lagos State Ministry of Education, the school was recognized to present candidates for the Primary 6 School Living Certificate Examination. We set for this in 1978, 1979, 1980, and 1981, with 100% success. The school is a school of choice of every parent. Our children are doing well in all curricular and co-curricular activities, they are good in morals, in conduct and manners. The Lagos State Government policy on education during the Second Republic prevented our participation in 1982 and 1983. Our pupils, however, passed to federal government colleges and other colleges outside the ambit of the Lagos State Government. One thing I notice about the standard is, you know, they operate a very, very high standard here. They teach the child to be a complete child. Is a very, you know, the school is very homely. They are very passionate, I must say, about the child. They love children. Everything about them is just perfect and wonderful. I love the, I love the school. It's more like a school away from home. I'm one of the parents that uh, his son is schooling in this school. Ever since ever my son started here, he's doing well, he's performing well. So I'm very happy about his uh, upbringing in the school.